Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at every upcoming Bethesda game. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. From 2023 onwards, Bethesda and its studios have a handful of titles planned. Of course, we know there are most likely more games we don't know about, but here's what we do know. Are you planning to pick up any of these games for yourself? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Ghostwire Tokyo, coming March or April 2023, most likely. Along with 2021's Deathloop from Arcane Studios, Ghostwire Tokyo from Tango Gameworks was under a contract with Sony to be a timed exclusive for the PlayStation 5. After March 25th, 2023, that deal will expire, allowing Bethesda to finally publish on other platforms. Just as they did with Deathloop when its PS5 exclusivity expired, Xbox players are most likely going to get exclusive content. One rumor that cropped up back in January 2023 speculates the game will be coming to Game Pass not long after the deal's expiration. So, if you've been holding out this long to play Ghostwire, the wait is just about over. Redfall, coming May 2nd, 2023. Oh, Lord. The aforementioned Arcane Studios is gearing up for what might be their biggest launch since the first Dishonored. Redfall is an FPS where you and or up to three friends will take on a legion of vampires and their devout cult followers as they try to restore the once quiet town of Redfall, Michigan. You'll have a wide variety of weaponry and abilities to expunge Redfall's invaders too. Shotguns, sniper rifles, telekinesis, and more, depending on who you're playing as, of course. After one delay, but a promising showcase in January 2023, it looks like Redfall will finally awaken from its lengthy slumber when it launches on May 2nd, 2023. The Elder Scrolls Online Necrom, coming 2023, but June is a safe bet. While it is not really a video game, the many expansions of ESO have proven to be not just massive, but incredibly popular as well so it's really hard to ignore an announcement like the latest expansion, Necrom. Necrom will be adding the third character class SCO has seen since its initial launch in 2014, the Arcanist, and it will take place in a location we had not seen in a long, long time. Hardcore Elder Scrolls fans will recall the city of Necrom from way back in the days of the very first game, the Elder Scrolls Arena. Though no specific release date has been given, it can be safely assumed Necrom will be added to ESO in June 2023, just as every other expansion like Elsewhere in High Isle has since 2014. Starfield, coming 2023. Uh, hopefully. Even those who are mildly in the know when it comes to the video game business will know how big of a deal Starfield is. This isn't just because it's the first original Bethesda IP in nearly 30 years, it's more for what it represents. Assuming it doesn't miss its 2023 window, Starfield has the potential to be the biggest launch Xbox has seen in years. As for Bethesda Game Studios, this is their chance to fix the wrongs committed by questionable commitments like Fallout 76, the frequent re-releasing of Skyrim, and the aggressive push for mobile gaming throughout the late 2010s. This will be a big step for both Xbox and Bethesda, and it may be the final test in seeing if Microsoft can recapture the spirit and energy it had back in the Xbox 360 days. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet. Indiana Jones, coming a TBA, but most likely fall 2023. The last time we saw Machine Games was towards the end of the 2010s. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, saw monumental success in 2017, but the same cannot be said for the online co-op spin-off, Wolfenstein Youngblood, nor the VR spin-off, Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, in 2019. 
So what have they been up to since then, other than making those episodes for the Quake remaster? One of their upcoming projects is a new Indiana Jones video game. Announced in January 2021, Bethesda and Machine Games have been somewhat quiet about it. The most we know is that it will be a wholly original Indiana Jones adventure, executive produced by Todd Howard, and there is a chance it may not be exclusive to Xbox, though no talks about platforms have been made to the public. Interestingly enough, the game will be directed by Jens Anderson, who has worked on games like Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, Yoku's Island Express, The Darkness, and The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. No release date has been given, but with the fifth indie movie slated for a June 30th release, Machine Games probably won't trail far behind. Perhaps a fall 2023 date? Wolfenstein 3, coming eh, to be announced. Before we move on from Machine Games, we have to address the elephant in the room. With the exception of the 2019 spin-offs, we have not seen BJ Blazkowicz since 2017. In a sense, Wolfenstein has been away for a rather long time with no return in sight. Our only mild confirmation was from a casual comment made by Bethesda Softworks head of publishing, Pete Hines. In June 2021, Hines stated, quote, Where we are for Wolfenstein, or quite honestly any other franchise that we don't have announced plans on, we'll have to wait until we get to the point of wanting to talk about it. You can put me at the head of the list of people who want to see another Wolfenstein game, so no worries there, end quote. It's a safe bet we'll see Wolfenstein within the next couple of years, but Machine Games is likely prioritizing all efforts into their Indiana Jones game first and foremost. So don't expect BJ's return anytime soon. The Elder Scrolls VI, coming whenever Todd is done toying with Starfield and Fable is out. Remember all the way back in 2018 when Bethesda announced The Elder Scrolls VI? Yeah, that was almost five years ago. Five years ago. While some parts of development have been shared with the public, such as the inclusion of Skyrim Grandma Shirley Curry as an NPC, most of the project has remained a mystery. We still have no idea on what the central plot will be, where the game is taking place, or how much of an improvement this will be in terms of tech and scope. One oddity that has been tacked onto The Elder Scrolls VI is when it will be launching. Not only does Todd Howard want BGS to finish Starfield first, but Xbox boss Phil Spencer has clarified that The Elder Scrolls VI will not release until after the Fable reboot that's being made by Forza Studio Playground Games. So, where is Fable at then? Good question! I wish we had the answer to that but Playground and Xbox have been almost completely silent about the project. And it has been some time since Fable was announced. Fallout 5, release date is comically distant. This is perhaps the one Bethesda game you should not hold your breath for. In June 2022, Todd Howard broke the bad news for Fallout fans, stating that Fallout 5 will not release before Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. If you're even remotely aware of how BGS operates, you'll know that the studio loves taking its sweet time on projects. So, let's entertain this. Let's assume Starfield launches in 2023. ES6 will probably be a few years out, say between 2026 and 2028. The game has been in pre-production for a handful of years now as they focus primarily on Starfield, so we can imagine that they'll probably start Fallout 5 while they're wrapping up ES6 in that time frame. In that case, yeah, Fallout 5 may not be a thing until the next decade. This has caused a bit of a disturbance within the Fallout community, with some influential members calling for the IP to be handed to Obsidian Entertainment, who developed 2010's Fallout New Vegas. While just about all Fallout games are available to play on PC and can keep us busy, it's hard to imagine that there's going to be a minimum 10 year gap between the last mainline game, Fallout 4, and this much-anticipated sequel. Well, we'll see you when we see you, Vault Boy. Did you enjoy this video? Check out some of our other videos here on Mojo Plays, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos every day.